بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي امري واحلل عقدة من لساني يفقهوا قولي السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته We are now beginning the third part of the series Tajweed Rules of the Quran This book is in three parts The first uh, part one, part two, and part three. Uh, part one has topics on uh, makraj, a certain rules. Even part two has some little more advanced rules, and then part three is even more advanced. This book is written by Karima Sarapinsky. This is one of the most detailed book in Tajweed. If you have read through any of the books, this is one of the most detailed books in Tajweed. It's co it covers a lot of things and even if you have not done part one or part two you can do the part three with us and then later on you can cover part one and part two as i already mentioned uh, i have not read the whole book part one part two i have finished reading alhamdulillah this book i have not read what will be done here is a group study kind of wherein i will be reading the book and explaining the topics. So I will be reading and learning the book along with you all as well. So chapter one is all about stop, al-waqf. Now we know that what happens is when you are reciting the Quran, you are supposed to recite it in one single breath. Okay. Suppose if you have a very big ayah, like the ayatul kursi or ayatul dain, when you're reciting the ayah, of course you cannot recite the whole ayah in one breath. So there are certain stop signs mentioned in the mushaf at those stop signs you can make a stop even if not on the stop sign suppose you don't have a stop sign and you're getting out of breath and you want to stop so there are various ways on how the stop should be done so this part is all explaining about how the stop should be made which is a correct stop and which is not a correct stop and once you stop if you are stopping somewhere which is not a stop sign there is no stop sign mentioned on top what you have to do is you cannot just continue ahead you need to go back few words and then continue the ayah so let us begin with the introduction the stop al waqf This is PDF page number 11. One of the most important areas in the science of Tajweed is knowledge of Al-Waqf wal ittida Well, ittida is from the word Bada'a. Bada'a means to begin or to start. So one very important thing by, when you're learning Tajweed, it's not only Tajweed, not only the way of recitation, but you should also know where you can start and where you can stop because it's more connected with meanings as well. The understanding of Allah's words cannot be realized nor comprehension of his meaning be achieved without this knowledge. So if you don't know, you will not be able to grasp the understanding of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's words of the Quran. One scholar described al-waqf as, so this is what is the description of waqf which one of the scholar has given is, the stop is the ornament of the lawa, beauty of the reciter, announcement of the succeeding understanding for the listener pride of the scholar and through it one knows the difference between two different meanings so stop is not only stop there are many things within the stop itself which the scholar has very beautifully put it our righteous predecessors were extremely careful in teaching the knowledge of the stop and the start and it is well documented in authentic chains that the Sahaba and those that followed them, they paid, they paid great attention to this knowledge. Many of the Imams of recitation would not give accreditation or ijazah to a student of the Quran until they acquired knowledge of the stop and start. So the Sahaba, they were very careful. Like when they taught Tajweed, when they taught the Quran recitation, and it's not only the recitation, they even taught the various ways of the stop, of the start. 
because, because without that it's incomplete the knowledge is incomplete just give me a second i think uh, the screen might be blocking just a second okay <coughs> so all the sahabas they paid great attention to this knowledge and many of the imams they would not give the ijaza ijaza is what we have already done in the beginning it's a sanad or a chain it's mentioned here as a footnote for those who want to know more details it is given to a student of the quran who completes the recitation and masters the tajweed and recites it by memory to a sheikh like they have done the full hifs and recites it to a sheikh or sheikha now this sheikh or sheikha also has to have an ijaza meaning they should have a chain of their teachers which should lead to the rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and they can then give ahead the ijaza because quran is to be recited how the prophet recited so the one who has learned it from teachers wherein they have sanad they have an ijaza they only can pass on this so many of the imams they would not give the ijaza if the student did not acquire this knowledge of the start and stop so here tahrif al waqf fil lugha meaning the linguistic <coughs> definition of the stop as by language if you go what does stop mean who al kaffu wal jabs sorry wal habs halt and imprisonment you halt halt meaning you stop and you imprison is there a recording chalu don't let it go anywhere you hold it and keep okay tarif fil istilah meaning it's applied definition this is the tajweed lecture chalu will be referring to like when in tajweed when you say the stop what do you mean by it so this is huwa qat us sauti ind akhir al kalimati zamanna يتنفس فيه عادة بنية استئناف الخراءة لا بنية الإعراض عنها. meaning you cut the sound هو قط الصوتي the cutting of the sound at the end of a word. okay when you're reciting at the end of a word you cut the sound usually for the time of breathing. you have, for how long do you cut the sound? till the time you take the breath and you have an intention to return back to the recitation and your intention here is not that you are going to stop your recitation here the when you say stop when you refer to waqf it means the waqf wherein you have made a temporary stop for your breath and you are going to continue recitation your intention is that you are going to continue the recitation now there are some points mentioned here that the basmala is required after the stop when beginning a surah suppose you have made a stop okay you completed an ayah and you made a stop now you're taking breath but if you're going to begin a new surah then you have to recite the basmala that is required stop can be done at the end of an ayah or in the middle of an ayah you can stop either at the end or in the middle you can never stop in the middle of a word you cannot cut a word Like even when I am uh, talking in English, I cannot say mid. Dal. That means I'm separating that whole word. You have to say middle. It can never be in the middle of a word, so you cannot cut the word. Or even in between two words that are joined in writing, such as if you see this word over here, al len. This actually is made up of two words, an and len, an and len. But when it is written. for grammatical purposes when it's written it is written like this allen as if it's one word so again this word although it is two you cannot break it in between okay this is there in this ayah ayahsabu al-insanu allan najma'a idhamah so this you can see allan so when i recite i cannot stop like ayahsabu al-insanu an and then i cannot stop there in between i have to say allan now there are various divisions of the stop like when you're studying the stop there are various aqsam or types and under those divisions you will have to study the kind of stop so basically there are three divisions one is the optional stop ikhtiyari al waqf al ikhtiyari it's optional this is what was intended by the reciter by his own choice 
without any outside reason so there was no reason for a stop but because of the choice of the reciter there a stop was made we will discuss this uh, this work which is the optional stop in the coming in the coming uh, pages the other two stops are the compelled stop this is what comes to the reader for compelling reasons like shortness of breath like if you're out of breath you cannot do anything you have to stop because you you won't be able to recite ahead if your breath is cut short or if a sneeze comes or coughing comes or uh, any other disability or if you forget or anything similar to these causes so it's it's like you know your the reader is compelled to stop in these cases what is the, uh, what is the rule is it is allowed to stop on the end of the word the reciter was at even if the meaning is not complete so you're reciting the ayah and suddenly you're sneezing now the ayah you're in the middle of the ayah somewhere okay you can stop at the end of the word maybe the meaning is not complete like you know you've cut the meaning somewhere and sneeze came you cannot do anything you can stop at the word it is allowed now after this compelling state will have passed then what will uh, the reader do then the reader will start with the word that you stopped on and then join it with what follows so you just don't continue with the next word you will start with that word where you stopped this is if <clears throat> this it is if it is a sound beginning now again that what is sound beginning in all will be mentioned if it is a sound beginning then you will do this if not then what you should do is you need to go back little more and start with what is a sound for a beginning the what is beginning is what we will do in the start section now the other third one is the test stop this is what is required for this of the student when being examined or taught by a teacher okay so for example any hives if you have done a surah hives or if you are learning tajweed with any teacher what would happen is when you are reciting the teacher will make keep you you know stop you some okay okay wait one second uh, stop here okay you need to recite like this okay you need to recite like this so this is what is a test stop now some scholars they have added a fourth division of stopping which is called the waiting stop al waqful intizari this stop is when the reader stops at a word that has more than one way of recitation so this fourth stop uh, which is mentioned here the waiting stop is you have more than one way to recite so at such a place the reader when he makes a stop and the intention is what the intention is to resume with the other way when reading by combining all of the ways of recitation i don't know if many of you all know this but there are 10 different uh, different types of recitation ways of recitation so when a, a person has learned all of them and is reciting or reading to a sheikh and they are combining all of the ways of recitation so a person is making a stop with one way of recitation and having an intention to resume with some other way that is what is this fourth kind of stop the waiting stop which some scholars have added now what we will be learning is the optional stop which is the one which is the first category which is by choice now this again there are different types there are different categories al waqful ikhtiyari yunqas yunqasimu al waqful ikhtiyari ila arba'ati aqsam arba'a means four so you can you have divided it into four categories the optional stop now you are you are going to stop by your choice but when when you make a stop you have here different categories like it could be a complete stop maybe the stop is just sufficient or it is just good and one is repulsive so complete is tam tam means complete kaf is sufficient hasan is good and qabih is repulsive now we will see what these are and when do we say that this kind of stop is done and is it allowed or is it not allowed that is what we need to know why because if the stop is not allowed while we are reciting we should know that we cannot do these kinds of stops so you have al waqful tam tam means complete the definition is you stop on an utterance complete in meaning so when you are reciting the meaning of a particular thing uh, aya is or a set of uh, words is complete it is not attached to what follows it what do you mean by complete meaning that what is coming next like with the stop that you have done after that what follows next is not connected is not attached in meaning 
in grammatical expression or in meaning in both ways it is not connected grammatical expression what they mean is uh, when you do arabic grammar you will be able to identify this more like for example when you have uh, something called as uh, um, an uh, a preposition plus a word like fi and bait fil bait fil bait is a grammatical expression in arabic there are around five kinds of expressions so fil bait is one of the kind of expression so when i say fi that meaning is incomplete in the sense fi is attached to al bait it's always attached you cannot separate them so you can have grammatical expression or meaning connections but here when you say a tam a complete stop here there will be no such connection the meaning will be complete or the grammatical expression will be complete and you would have made a stop if something is attached in meaning it means that the preceding and the following words so preceding meaning when you made a stop suppose if you have stopped here okay here so what comes before it which is here plus what follows it they are attached in meaning that is what is if something is attached in meaning but it is not necessary that grammatical structure also may be attached it can be that only the meaning is attached but not the grammatical structure now what is the rule when a meaning is complete it is best to stop on these places so whenever you want to make a stop if you uh, for some reason if you by your choice if you want to stop the best is to stop where the meaning is complete or the grammatical expression is complete it's not attached or whatever you're stopping on is not attached to what follows it and then you will start on what follows it you don't need to repeat this again because here the meaning is complete so you can just continue from the next word now this category of stop is actually found at the end of an ayah the end of each surah and at the completion of stories in the glorious quran now for example here you have an ayah from surah al fatiha maliki yawmi din master of the day of recompense and then the next ayah which is ayah 5 is iyyaka na'budu wa iyyaka nasta'in it is you we worship and you we ask for help so you see these are no way connected it's a one meaning is complete and then another is starting so this waqf is usually found at the end of an ayah or at the end of the surah or when stories are complete another example of this complete stop is when you stop on surah al-baqarah here this is just the ending the full ayah is not given just the ending wa ulaika humul muflihun and it is those who are the successful okay it is those who are the successful the uh, qualities of the successful people are mentioned and it is mentioned that these those people are those the ones who are successful the next ayah if you see innal ladina kafaru indeed those who disbelieve why this is because the word al muflihun okay muflihun is successful people is attached to what preceded it as to the characteristics of the believers now that is what i told that in the ayah if you see before before these words it was mentioned about the characteristics of the believers the next one that follows is separate it is mentioned about the people who disbelieved kafaru muflihun successful people before this the ayah mentioned about believers it was all about believers and they are those who are successful whereas here the next ayah is talking about disbelievers so sometimes the scholars differ as to where in the ayah you have a uh, waqfu tam which is a complete stop so there are differences between scholars depending upon their varied opinions of the tafsir and also the gram grammar part of the ayah so based on that some scholars do have differences on those that which is a complete stop that here is a complete stop here is a complete stop we will just do this one sufficient stop and then i will end the class here for today and from here on which is the other two that's still here i will complete the other two the on the next class we will start from here the good stop okay so the next stop that we are going to do is the sufficient stop sufficient means it's sufficient it is known as kafi definition it is the stop on an utterance that is complete in meaning okay the meaning is complete you have a stop 
and is attached to what follows it in meaning, but not in grammar. In the first one, which we did, uh, uh, the complete stop, what was the case? It very, very, where you made the stop, the next part of it was not connected or attached, neither either meaning or grammar. But here, you will complete the meaning, but the next, uh, the next words which will be there, they are connected with this in meaning. It's still continuing. The meaning is still continuing. Grammatically, they won't be attached, but meaning-wise, they will be attached. So this is a sufficient stop. That if you do a stop here, it's sufficient. It can be at the end of an ayah or in the middle of an ayah. Why is it called kafi or sufficient? Because it because of its lack of attachment to grammatically. Because grammatically, you know, when things are attached in grammar, like I'd give you the example of fil baiti. Fil baiti, grammatically, these two words are together. You cannot break them in between. But if words are not grammatically attached, okay, it's it's okay to stop there because they are not attached any in grammar in grammar form so you can make a stop and continue so here due to its lack of attachment grammatically to what follows meaning wise they are attached that's fine it's like you know i'm saying something a few different sentences which are related like i am reading i am reading a book this book is on tajweed so see there are two different sentences but they are attached in meaning the second sentence that i said was talking about the first sentence, which is, it was describing the book that I'm reading. So meaning-wise, they are attached. But my the stop, if I do a stop here, it's sufficient. What is its rule? It is advisable. When the next thing, when you want to make a stop, the next thing you should look out for, complete meaning. So it is advisable that you stop on such places. And then you will start with what follows. Because again, the meaning is complete. So you do, you do not repeat. You can continue from the next. Now, the examples of waqf kafi with the star symbol showing in the English meaning of the ayah where stop should be and the word or ayah marker in red showing the stop in the ayah itself. Like we have a uh, stopping on the word yunfiqoon, they spend over here. This is ayah 3 and 4 from Surat al-Baqarah. Okay, I will just read out the ayah. And from which we have given them in wealth, they spend. And those that believe in that which was revealed to you. Now, the and itself tells you that this is connected with the previous ayah. Because it's and. It's saying something. Okay, previously something was said and something more. So it is joining them. So it is the star symbol they have put here. Okay, the star symbol is where the uh, ayah is finishing. Okay, there is a stop sign there. And then there you have another ayah. So these are mean, meaning wise, they are joined. They are connected because the next ayah is mentioned and those that believe in that which was revealed to you. Same thing again, if you see, again, Surah Al-Baqarah, Ayah number 4 and 5. The next one. يُغِنُونَ And in the hereafter, they are certain. أُولَٰئِكَ عَلَىٰ هُدًا مِّن رَبِّهِمْ They are on guidance from their Lord. This again is talking about these people. These people. About the hereafter, the ones who are certain, they are on the guidance from their Lord. So you see here the star they have put because uh, to say that this ayah here is complete so the meaning is complete but you have another next one which is connected in meaning with this grammatically they are not joined they're different sentences again another example again surat al-baqarah but ayah number 30 three zero the word khalifa which is over here over here if you see there is a stop sign on top salli salli means uh, you can it is okay to stop and it is okay to continue also it is better to continue, but you can stop. Solli means it is better that you continue the ayah uh, from here. But if you want, you can make a stop. Why? Because here there is a kafi stop because uh, the meaning is complete. Let's see what it means. Inni 
قالوا أتجعل فيها من يفسد فيها First I will just read the meaning to خليفة and mention O Muhammad وإذ قال ربك للملائكة and when your Lord said to the angels إني جاعل في الأرض خليفة Indeed I will make upon the earth a successive authority Okay They said Now here if you see this is one eye only but they said it's like a complete different different sentence, different meaning. It's not joined anyway. But it is continuation of what is going on. It's continuation. They said, Will you place upon it one who causes corruption therein? So the meaning wise they're related, but it's it's a, like a completely different sentence. So you can stop at Khalifa. Then you don't need to repeat. Like I don't have to say, Inni jailun fil ardi Khalifa. I don't have to do that. After Khalifa, I can start with Qalu Atajalu. I can continue. So that is what is a kafi stop. Okay, inshallah, I will stop here. If you have any queries, I will leave this on for two minutes. If not, you can still post in the group later on as well. No issues. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Nashad wa la ilaha illa ant. نستغفرك ونتوب إليك. Any questions, any queries, and then I'll just disconnect and end the recording. السلام عليكم. Okay, then if nothing, then I'm finishing here. Anything is there, you can just post it. Yes, if you want, you can uh, unmute your mic. If you don't want to talk, you can, what you could do is you can, there's a chat box. I'll just send a message if you need. You can type there as well. Assalamu alaikum. There, I think you got the chat. You can type there. If uh, it, you can unmute your mic and speak as well, no problem. Yeah, assalamu alaikum, sister. Yes, you need to ask something. Your uh, your full name is not mentioned. I don't know your name. If you need to ask something, just let me know. Sister Nafisa. You have any question? Or, I, or shall I end the recording? Just hold on. We'll just end the recording.